Call it the worst possible times, bro. Shit, man. Sorry. Wait, how is 11.30 a bad time? Are you just waking up? Yeah, last night was just crazy. Yeah, I'm kicking the last broad out now. Wait, so you're telling me you had women over last night. Am I hearing this correctly? Um... So you could marry my brother! Yeah. Right on. Well, uh, I'll be there soon. I assume you need a couple of minutes to clean up. Yeah, of course. What were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking like 10, 15 minutes or so. Sounds good. Holy crap, these women made a mess. Cool, cool. I'll grab coffee on the way. Sound good? Awesome. A large double-double would be simply amazing. All right, see you soon. Cool. Dave's not here, man. But sweet fucking Christ. When I say come over, that means just walk in. Now that is no way to speak in the presence of the Lord, now is it, son? Dad, shit. I mean, shoot. I thought you were Greg calling back. Well, that isn't any way to speak to anyone, son. You ought to pray on that. I'm sorry, Dad. I know. Greg just has such a foul mouth. I think it's rubbing off on me. I knew there was something odd about that boy. I'll keep him in my prayers, too. Now, how have you been? We haven't spoken in some time. I know, but actually... I'd like you to come to church tomorrow, boy. I know, I know, but actually... One Sunday at church will do your soul a world of good. I know, I know, but actually... Um... Actually, though, Dad, um, we're, we're just heading out of town. Uh, uh, we're heading through a tunnel. Um... I might not, I might lose you. Um, call me Monday. Thank you. Hey, Mom, how are you? Hang on, let me just turn this music down a little bit. Gregory Allison Gagnon, are you driving and talking on the phone? No, Mom, I'm not driving. You're not fooling me, young man. Pull over or call me when you can. I raised you better than that. Okay. Okay, Mom, I'm, I'm pulling over. Listen. Okay, I've pulled over. So, what's up? I told you that Dave character would be a bad influence on you. You never used to drive and play with your cell phone. Big city living doesn't mean that you can't cause vehicular homicide. I know, Mom, and you're right. Whatever you say. I was just calling to see how my successful filmmaker is doing. You haven't called in a while. Don't go forgetting where you came from. Of course not, Mom. I've just been super busy. What with... Uh, those projects I told you about last time, you know? Now, don't go letting that success get to your head. 
How is that lovely Allison doing? She's great. Um, things are really going well with her. But, uh, listen, I, I actually gotta run, okay? But I'll call you soon, I promise. Not a problem, honey. You have a great day and give Allison a hug for me. Don't mess this up. I want grandbabies and neither of us are getting any younger. Okay, Mom. Je t'aime beaucoup. Au revoir. Hey, hey. You look like shit, bro. Thanks, man. That's always appreciated. Looks like you had a... Uh, quite the night, eh? Yeah, man. Um, crazy enough. Take a load off, man. Strike it up. What, they don't have joints in Shakutami? What are you talking about? We've been smoking weed for how long and you still look like a narc. And enough about that. So how's the job hunt going? Usual, slow and pointless. Okay. Pointless because you can't hold any of the million jobs you've had in the last few years? Twelve jobs. It's a few shy of a million. And yes, that's part of it. But why would I take a job that'll just fire me? Here's a thought. Maybe, uh, don't get fired? And what, become some sort of office gopher like you? Ouch, dude. True, but, ouch. Sorry, man. One of those days, I guess. After a night like this? Hey man, if you were single, I'd have you over one of these times. Speaking about that, I'm finally gonna pop the question. Anal? No, douche. Are you ever gonna earn your brown belt? Like you have? It doesn't count if you earn it with a dude, dude. Please. I have my brown belt, my yellow belt, my red belt. Please, tell me red belt is not what I think it is. Hmm. Just, just check this out. <laughs> You'd be better off asking for anal. Unless it's some sort of high school promise ring shit. What does that even mean? I'm asking her to marry me. Why don't you think she'll go for it? Do you want me to be honest or dick? Honest. All right. An honest stick it is. Allison is a bitch. And that ring isn't nearly big or expensive enough for the likes of her. Just wait and see. She is not. She just doesn't like you because she thinks you're a loser who can't hold a job and has no friends. She, she just doesn't know you like I do, man. So you both come off negatively to each other. Me? A loser? You should see me at the club last night. I had pussy all over me. Still tasting on my lips. Forgot to brush this morning. I was even chatting up some ladies last night. It was intense. <clears throat> oh, I bet you're looking all sorts of sexy, luscious gnome 37. Wait, you're a chick, right? Well, that's 
definitely not helping your case. But anyway, I need to get this proposal thing sorted out. It's making me nervous just thinking about it. I need to take things to the next level or she'll just leave me and find someone else. You want to propose out of fear? That's a great way to start a marriage. Bet you can't wait to tell your kids this story. Okay, well, at least I have someone to propose out of fear too. You, on the other hand, I haven't seen you within 10 meters of a woman in the time I've known you. That's because I like to keep my bro life and my hoe life separate. I like to call it the separation of bro and hoe. State. Right. Look, can I, can I show you what I'm going to do for Allison's proposal? You're not going to get down on one knee and beg me to put on that cheap-ass ring, are you? Okay, let's get one thing clear. There will be no begging, okay? And no, I'm not going to get down on one knee. I'm going to show you the proposal video I made for her. <laughs> you did what now? I'm creative, damn it. Plus, I needed to put those filmmaking skills I paid so much money for to some use. Just, just watch it. It's, it's really good. Hello and welcome to the Surprise Curtain Reveal Show. I'm your host, Greg Gagnon. Let's get back to the show. Hey there, Greg. Looking good. Right back at you, Greg. Well, you've made it to the end of the show. And you know what time it is. Pick a damn curtain segment. That's right, folks. Personally, it's my favorite part of the show. Now, which curtain will you choose? Oh, ha, <laughs> Uh, this, this is a toughie. I, I think I'd like to use a lifeline. Well, uh, we don't call those lifelines here, Greg. For fear of being sued, we refer to them as help me nows. Well, uh, well, Greg, I, uh, I think I'd like to ask my girlfriend. All right, Greg, let's get a response now. Well, Allison, which curtain do you choose? And, and then she'll choose curtain number two, and she'll say yes, and we'll get married and live happily ever after and have a big family. But then she'll get dementia, but I'll visit her in the nursing home every day and tell her stories about our lives together until she remembers who I am. And, uh, and then we'll bone. That's the notebook. You think this video is your ticket to a notebook style life? And I thought proposals were supposed to be romantic. Not your weird, unfunny sense of humor. You're missing the genius of the whole thing. She'll love this. You don't know her like I do. If she has a vagina, which I hope she does, this will never work. I hate how unsupportive you are of my work. You're just like Alice- Unsupportive? This is constructive criticism, my friend. You should read the scathing review I wrote for Schindler's List. And you were about to say that Allison was unsupportive as well. See, I'm starting to think I know your girlfriend maybe a little bit better than you do. You don't know what you're talking about. Clearly. Yeah, okay. Do I get to choose a door yet? I can only wait with bated breath for so long. It's a curtain, not a door. And yeah, sure. But it only works if you choose curtain number two. So what if she doesn't choose curtain two? Non-issue. How? She will choose curtain number two. How do you just know that? I, I just do. I know her better than- I get it. But you didn't even give yourself a 50-50 chance. And for that, I choose door number three. Curtain. Curtain. And she will choose curtain two. I know she will. But what if she doesn't? Didn't you even plan a failsafe that no matter what she chooses, she still gets the proposal? I... No. I didn't think of that. All right. Good luck. Now you've got me second-guessing the whole thing. Like, I know my sense of humor got me laid that one time in Shakutami, but that's not going to get me engaged. I could have told you that without wasting precious moments of my life watching that horrible mock game show with you as a host. Whew. If you paid for film school, I'd be asking for a refund. Well, well, what would you have done differently? Do you really want to put your shot of being engaged in my hands? Not even a little bit. I'm just so apprehensive now that you've opened your stupid stoner mouth. Hey, be nice. Please, help me. All right, but I have a few rules. Rules? More like ridiculous requests I want to see you fail miserably at fulfilling. Like what? I need a director's chair with my name on it, an 85-point Helvetia font, with the title Professor Director. 
Okay, calm down, Scorsese. Ooh, Dr. Scorsese. Okay, so, how do we start? The only way we know how. A little help from our friend. Bad influence on Greg, huh, Allison? Well, I won't interfere anymore. See how much you like Greg's uninfluenced ideas. You're gonna love this. What? What? What time is it? Figured it out, buddy. Uh-huh. You are going to be you. The you she fell in love with. Awesome. With, with what? You're gonna use this one. The one I already made and you hated? Yeah, I get it now. It's hilarious. She may not get it the first four times, but by the tenth, it'll definitely sink in. That is, if she picks the right door. Curtin, but you said that she wouldn't go for it because she had a vagina. You said it had to be romantic. Yeah, but comedy is your romance, and you do it so well. Really? Yeah. Did... Did it, did it work on you a little bit? A little bit. Dave, would you have married me? No. But I'd give you a handy in the alley. That'd be okay. Mm. I wish you'd give me a handy in an alley. I haven't had one of those in years. Put a finger in your butt when you get a blowjob? I I don't get the blowjob part. She just puts her finger in my ass. Yeah, she's got this weird penetration thing. <laughs> what rhymes with haggis? Hey guys, this is Greg from uh, Dave and Greg. What's up? So uh, please check our campaign video. It's uh, the link right there. And uh, please be sure to subscribe and check out more content from hashtag Dave and Greg.